Welcome back everybody. Today I want to show you how to think outside the box. I want to show you how to do a Cajun shrimp steam on the Blackstone griddle. I'm gonna use the same Lodge Dutch oven that I used the last time we made this up in the mountains last summer. I'll put some photos down below. We are gonna use Blackstone's non-stick cooking spray. The last time I did this, I used aluminum foil to cut down on the messiness, right? To make it a little bit easier to clean. But as it turns out, that was the number one question. Everyone literally freaked out over the aluminum foil. Why'd you use the aluminum foil? Aluminum foil, that's stupid. Non-stick cooking spray. Next to shrimp, potatoes is probably gonna be my number one used ingredient. So I got a bunch of these beautiful red potatoes that I've chopped up into big, thick chunks. And then it's just a matter of me putting the ingredients in any way I want to. Onion, corn on the cob chunks. Zatarain's andouille smoked sausage. Couple cloves of garlic. Lemons, I have a mixture of sliced lemons and half lemons. Blackstone's Cajun seasoning. And I'll leave some space in here for the shrimp. We'll put this in towards the end. One more dusting of the Blackstone Cajun seasoning. A handful of fresh parsley. And this is where I lost a lot of people last time, okay? So about 10, 11 years ago, I did a lot of cooking with the can cooker, right? One of their most popular recipes is a carrot, potato, onion, casserole, where they use Mountain Dew or they use beer. I've used beer for this, amazing, but I don't drink beer. Mountain Dew, let me tell you, come on, just hear me out on this. Trust me on this, you try this. And the delicious nectar of Mountain Dew. You need a little bit of liquid in there, right? This is a steam, this isn't a boil. Mountain Dew for the win. Over to my Blackstone griddle, which is on medium low. Of course, we're using our griddle as a heat source today. We wanna create steam in here. As all those goodies start to steam inside the Dutch oven, I wanna remind you that this video is airing during National Griddle Week. That is right, baby. Blackstoneproducts.com, all of Blackstone social media is your place. We've got promotions, we've got giveaways. Come on, check it out. National Griddle Week, baby. Also a good time to tell you about Blackstone's brand new Pro Series prep cart. You've seen me use the other Blackstone prep carts in the past. This year we have brand new prep carts at Walmart, including the Pro Series. Let's open up mine and see what I got. I got my Blackstone degrees there. I've got Blackstone spices. I've got cooking gloves in here. Check this out. We have trays. You can put your Blackstone trays in here. Remember these, they came out last year. So you can have trays in here with your food. Mine are empty right now. All kinds of room for storage. Of course, we have collapsible side shelves, a stainless top as well, paper towel roll holder, trash bag holders, all that stuff. And one big redesign this year is this. You might remember the first generation Pro Series had that little sink hose attachment. They did away with that. So you can use this ice with drinks. You could have your condiments in here. And you know me, I'm on top of things as far as keeping the griddle top oiled. So we have the Dutch oven over here, but over here it's gonna to start to dry out a little bit because we have the griddle warm, hot for 30 minutes. So if you notice your griddle top starting to dry out, just rub a little bit of oil on there. It's not that hard to maintain a beautiful and consistent seasoning on your Blackstone. I can hear that delicious flavor sizzling in the Dutch oven. We're almost ready for shrimp, but I wanted to point you to this. Lots of people ask me about my original hunting and outdoor themed griddling shirts. Tovenzone.com. Tovenzone.com, and you can buy one of these. So it's been 25 or 30 minutes. Everything is oh, simmering away, baby. I'm gonna add my shrimp. I have two different kinds today. I have a big old cleaned, peeled, deveined, tail on shrimp. We're gonna put a bunch of those in there, but I also found these delicious golf shrimp that are completely clean and have the tail off as well. And we'll hit it up with 
another dosing of the Blackstone Cajun seasoning. A little more parsley too to make it extra pretty. And we'll let that shrimp steam for five, six minutes or so. Some bakery fresh French bread. I sliced it in two in the house. I put butter on there. And we're gonna make a garlic bread. I like to use garlic powder, as in not garlic salt, but actual powder, powdered garlic for garlic bread, okay? Don't have to worry about the sodium. So I like to put a generous amount of garlic in there. And since we're doing Cajun style today, I mean a little bit of the Blackstone, just a little bit of the Blackstone to have a little red, a little cayenne in there is all you're gonna need. Then we're gonna take that French bread with the butter and the seasoning. We're gonna put it butter side down. By the way, I probably need to give credit where credit is due. I used to always wrap my garlic bread in foil. We were down in Texas at the World Food Championships back in November, and I was getting ready to do that, and I was sort of stressed out, and I think it was Michael Greenlee. Michael Greenlee, of course, you gotta check him out, Blackstone Cooking on Instagram and on YouTube, and Blackstone Betty, they both told me, go ahead, just put it straight down on the griddle top like this, and it just gets beautifully cooked. It's only been one minute, but I can hear that butter sizzling. So let's go ahead, look at that. Let's check on our shrimp. Oh yeah, you can see those are definitely done and the big ones might need another minute or two, but we are getting really close. Obviously, be careful when grabbing things off of the hot griddle. I've been doing this for years and I prefer to do it bare-handed most of the time. Those garlic bread loaves couldn't possibly look any better. We can check our shrimp one more time and I think we are at perfection. A lot of weight and a lot of heat here. Oh, I'll grab my Dutch oven. Come over here, use a hot pad. Put a little extra parsley on top. Another sprinkle or two. And nobody's gonna complain if you put just a couple drops of that Louisiana hot sauce on top for contrast and flavor. Take a look at that. Huge windstorm moved in. That's the life of the Rocky Mountain Griddler. I'm a carb guy through and through, so first things first, I gotta get me some of that delicious garlic bread. Let's come in here. And because I am a carb guy, I have to go with potato first. Whew. Next, we'll grab one of those golf shrimp. Of course, those ones don't have the tail, the legs, or the head. Let's peel the colossal shrimp here. There we go, check that out. The garlic, the Mountain Dew, all those flavors of the lemon and the parsley. The sausage just takes on additional flavor. I actually haven't eaten yet today, so I'm gonna stay here and uh, eat for a while. Let me get some more corn. So this is my version of a Cajun shrimp steam, and I did it on the Blackstone Griddle. So good, friends. I appreciate you watching. Blackstoneproducts.com is your portal for everything Blackstone. Please, thumbs up, comment down below, and until next time, praise the Lord and pass the Cajun shrimp steam.